daydreaming. Look for the hook. Can he land it? That's the question. And no, he can't because that's a flash. Zion Spartan comes in for the stun. That's a taunt onto Cubic Kid. He's held in place by the charm. Zion goes under the tower. Cubic Kid's still alive. Ignite is burning. I think he survived that one. A lot blown in that engaging. Yeah. Coast do not get the kill. And then I think they're going to go in for a fight unless Coast peels off. They're just biding their time here. Well, there's the paranoia. In comes Crumbs. They've turned attention over to Daydreamer. He's going to be the first victim of the fight. Coast were peeling away and basically gave that one up. Now Dignitas onto the Dragon. Four members of Coast still sitting around on the sidelines. Remember, Rec Room is available. Kiwi Kid has been zoned out. Scar is going to be the first target. Dragon secured by Dignitas while that's going on. Now comes the Rec Room. Can it do enough to get kills? It gets one onto Nintendo. The rest of Dignitas oh, chasing careful. down on Spartan. Ends up being a one-for-one, one, but Dragon to Dig. Initiated on later about Dignitas, and they opt into the same situation once again. Dignitas is going to do the same thing again. Solar Flare is available. There's the paranoia. You see Crumbs throwing himself into daydreaming. Solar Flare locks down two members of Coast Nintendo. Is on full retreat. Summon a heal from Wiz Future. Keeps him alive for a few seconds longer. In the background, Skara does get soloed. 1v1 there by Shifter. It's a one-for-two trade. Requiem comes down. That's going to be a whole bunch of damage. Dignitas, going to get in the dragon. You're going to be hard pressed to stay alive as Wiz Fusion. Oh, Nintendo is in so much trouble, does grab the lance and gets out. Thanks to Daydreaming keeping him alive though. But there's no Nocturne off this time to initiate the fight. The initiation will not be as clean for Dignitas, but they have an even bigger lead. Here comes. We'll have to see how it works. They've hooked on Kibi Kid. That's great. Now the Dragon was secured by Nintendo in the background as Cutie Pie is throwing the culling down. He grabs the first kill of the fight. It's actually onto Zion Spot and secured there by Crumbs. Now Karthus has been dropped. Skara begins to channel the Requiem. That is a massive chunk of damage. That's a flash forward from Cutie Pie. He gets the double shot off to the Light Slinger, and that is a kill onto Wiz Fusion. Whoop. That's a stun onto Nintendo and an instant cocoon. Good reaction times. The repel into the smite. Baron is getting lower and lower. It's Zion too dangerous. Spartan. They have to get out of here. Oh, Zion Parton gets one. The recall does manage to get off, though, as he turns his attention over to Cutie Pie. Cutie Pie is dead, and all of a sudden, Coast set their sights on Baron. Oh, I wonder if they fight. They have Nocturnal. Oh, Cruiser's in a little bit of trouble. He does get taunted. The charm lands. The hook lands. That's a dead Cruiser. He's going to get bruised. Does take them on a little bit of a hike, though. Uh, with his ulti as well, so. But now he's no ulti for a fight. Oh. He gets initiated on! He does get stunned in place. All of a sudden, Cruiser's on the front line. That's a lantern. It's gonna keep Zion alive for a few seconds before a pinpoint solar flare locks down Daydreaming. Two quick kills for Dignitas. They haven't been anywhere near control. The Tempting gets caught by the solar flare. In comes Crumbs. Dustbringer does land. Look for the Fear Proc. That's a sidestep from Crumbs. Very, very They're smart. Still off. That was a decent enough repel from the Tendu to. Try to get over to the Wraith camp. But Dignitas is on Baron. Nintendo did go back to base. This has got to be the fight. And five versus four. Man, they've managed to catch on to Daydreaming. He is just deleted under the damage of Dignitas. Now remember, that's bought a little bit of time for Nintendo. Watch Shifter in this fight. Who can he kill? He is full health. Zani is DFG, everything. Oh, man, doesn't manage to land the Orbit Deception on the way forward. On the way back, it does. With fusion has got one. Shifter manages a kill onto Skara. Here comes the Requiem. That's a Zonia's Hourglass. is going to prevent the damage, but with Fusion's off on the side. Now, the next victim is most likely going to be Zion Spot, and they're trying to run him down. Cutie Pie. See, Cutie Pie's got one. Cutie Pie's lifesteal is immense. Nintendo needs to repel. That's a Kali. Oh. He gets it onto Shifter. Dashes backwards. That's a triple. Cutie Pie goes huge for Dignitas. Player by Zion was up in the top lane. They've got onto the turret now, Dignitas. Cocoon catches out Kiwi Kid. This is a Requiem being channeled as well. That is Ooh. a massive amount of damage onto Coast. Zion goes in, but that's way too deep. Cruiser grabs himself a kill onto Daydream and dashes away to, with the safeguard. Dignitas get themselves their eighth tower of the game. Turn their attention to the inhibitor. Nintendo just managed to get away. Zion re-engages. He does manage to get a kill with the help of Wiz Fusion. That's actually two kills now for Coast. You see Karth oh. grabs himself one. Solar Flare in the background. That one connects. Kiwi Kid grabs himself a kill. And Nintendo is doing the best he can to hold off members of Dignitas, but another yeah. inhibitor falls. Maybe a steal attempt, though. We'll see if they can land it. Nintendo goes in, doesn't manage to grab it. That means Nintendo's dead. Baron's been secure for Dignitas. Requiem starts being channel Shifter. is forced to use the Hourglass. That is a dead Wiz Fusion. Zion Spartan gets run down. Shifter takes a shot from Cutie Pie. Cutie Pie with the double kill. Four members of Coast are down, and Dig can clean the base. Dignitas, 80,000 gold as they start hammering on the Nexus Towers. They secure their first game in the series, drawn out, but you have to admit, pretty <laughs> convincing on the side of Dignitas. They were really in control from the get-go and never really, really pushed them. So a solid start to the day for these guys after being dropped into this fifth place match. One more win, and they guarantee their spot in the summer split for 2014.